after your game tonight, I feel like it's safe to say that you've made your statement that you not only belong in this league, but that you will one day be a force in this league. Do you agree with that? Hey, well, uh, thanks for seeing me, man. Uh, you know, I, I feel like I've been playing really well, but I'm just not getting the minutes I need to really make as big an impact as I'd like to. Well, there's no question you've played well. Coach has some tough choices, and that competition is good for our team. But I think your role will continue to grow. I talk with Coach just about every day if you follow, so just keep doing what you're doing. First of all, I appreciate the compliment, man. Everything just seemed to click out there for me tonight. I felt like a superhero or something. Uh, it was a pretty great feeling, man. I look forward to building off this performance moving forward for sure. It's now clear to me that the time to expand your role within Jordan is already here. We're ready to unveil you to the world as our newest Jordan athlete. And what better way to do it than with our This Is Flight campaign. You're going to love this. But for the moment, we've got to stay together and keep our minds on this upcoming game against the Rockets. This is Jared, a.k.a. The Sanderson's on Xbox Live, returning you to the road to Springfield on NBA 2K13's My Career Mode with the back-to-basket power forward, rising star of the Portland Trail Blazers, Donnie Baskets! Do you feel that? The tingling sense of excitement rushing up your arms? This could very well be the last game we see Donnie coming off the bench as his role within the team continues to grow. He's slowly overshadowing J.J. Hickson as a strong contributor to this offense, and even the general manager, Neil Oshie, seems to agree. Donnie simply cannot be contained on the bench. His presence on the court is felt immediately, and Terry Stotts will soon have no choice but to place him as the starting center in this lineup. Wait a minute. I know this game. I've seen this setup before. Back you foul trolls, away with you! Not this time! Ha! Victory! Whoa, hold on. Wait, wait. No, just no. Come on, Terry, we've been through this. Good boy. Now go back to reading your copy of the Dummies Guide to Coaching an NBA Team. See? Terry's starting to come around in the realization that this team can function better with Donnie on the court. No more one and done plays for Mr. Baskets. Mama Baskets made sure of that when she sat down with Coach and straightened him out. I believe a rolling pin and some baby powder were involved. Details aren't important as that's besides the point. Right now, the Trailblazers are on a skid and this home game against the Rockets should be just the fix the team needs to get back into the wins column. Both teams are struggling to get on the right side of the ledger, sporting sub-500 records upon entry of this game, and neither side wants to let up. This is slowly turning into a hard slugging brawl, but the Rockets are already in a good position for this back and forth tit for tat exchange. This one is about to get physical. Two teams looking to prove something as they begin the climb to turning their season around. This doesn't look to be one for the faint of heart. Every possession will be crucial, and with the way the Trailblazers have been loose with the ball thus far into the season, they'll need to be especially tight on offense. Because once Portland is down, they tend to stay down. Despite Donnie's best efforts, there's only so much he can do to help Portland's attempts to win the game off the boards. So defense will be the crux of this game, and Portland looks to be a bit more smothering tonight. But as do the Rockets. Errors and turnovers will not be shy, and thus far have been the driving factor of this game's score in the quarter. Protection of the Rock is going to be a priority, and thus far, Houston's taken to the challenge seriously. They're being methodical in the movement of the ball, while Portland seems to be slinging it across the court in hopes of finding any kind of opening to take advantage of. Donnie and crew simply cannot catch a break. Even wide open looks aren't falling their way as Nicholas Batum puts up the uncontested air ball from beyond the arc. 
If we're gonna win this game, then everyone's gonna need to chip in and do their part. So far, Portland is sizing up for a failing grade while Houston sets up double screens to free up Kevin Martin from the land of the three. This could be a rough night for the home crowd if our Trailblazers can't answer back. This deficit is starting to grow as Houston looks to be setting up a high scoring pace for themselves. No one seems to be stepping up to fill the team needs right now. Donnie hasn't been able to record a single rebound, Batum is off to a slow start, Aldridge hasn't seen enough of the ball in the right spots to knock down his jumper, Lillard hasn't been protective of the ball enough, and Matthews is once more sitting quietly with nothing to do. Adjustments have been a weakness of the Blazers in that they just don't seem to make any. Size that up to poor coaching or just poor team communication, but either way, something needs to give. This cannot continue if the team wants to start getting some wins. Despite an actual tough interior presence tonight, it's just not enough to slow down or even prevent someone like Jeremy Lin from knocking down the highly contested layup. It just seems like a game the Trailblazers aren't meant to win, but the battle is still there. There's too much time left to play to start counting this as a loss already. Yeah, we're down, but we're not out. We can't be out this early into the game. We just need to fight back, chin up and push forward. We need to actually play smarter on both sides of the ball. We need to force some big turnovers and actually capitalize upon the extra possession. We can't just keep trading shots for shots with Houston because we're already down double digits. They can't keep being lackadaisical on defense and give up open looks when Houston is already knocking down their contested shots. This is a game of momentum and we've already conceded enough of it back in the first. Time to take charge! Come on Donnie, light that fire under their ass! Alright, way to be clutch! When they call your number, show the world that you're reliable enough to sink that shot regardless of how much time is left on the shot clock. Unfortunately, it's not enough. The team is still dragging behind, failing to step up and take away those open looks on defense. Donnie, you need to start leading by example. Good screen, great cut. <laughs> that was a statement dunk. It just yelled out to the rest of the Portland squad to wake up. Donnie's hoping the team offensively as best he can, knocking down just about everything given to him. It's not the role he's meant to fill but the breaks aren't falling his way on the boards, so he's gotta contribute somewhere, somehow. This is just the kind of positive contribution the team needs right now. If the Trailblazers are gonna start turning this game around, someone needs to step up and become the leader. Everything can't fall on Donnie offensively. Well, Nolan Smith is not gonna be the guy. What a terrible blunder to commit. The errant pass forced the Donnie leads to a fast break that Smith opts to stop by fouling the Duncan Kevin Martin. The momentum earlier in the quarter is slipping away from this team and we're not fighting to get a hold of it. We really need to start making better plays on both sides of the ball like that. Tipping the inbound pass leads to a fast break by Wesley Matthews pulling the Blazers to within 10. That's the way to use your head Mr. Baskets. Literally. It's not the prettiest steal you could record, but it's a crucial enough turnover to help pull this team within striking distance. But Houston continues to stretch out the Trailblazers on offense. They're just opening themselves up for easy looks, and nothing was easier than that Royce White putback dunk to clean up what should have been a terrible possession. Donnie is now looking lost on defense out there. The Trailblazers just can't keep up with the scoring output that Houston is pushing. Serious adjustments will need to be made in the halftime if Portland is going to turn this game around. This is just far too sloppy play by Portland. If only defense could step up, this could be a ball game right now. Stotts really needs to inspire these boys to better play. They lead by 13. 50. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now, brought to you by Sprint. You've got it on 2K Sports. Let's look at what went on in the first half. The Houston Rockets in front against Portland. The wins haven't been easy to come by to start the season. No time like the present to turn things around. For Kevin Martin, it's been way too easy against the Trailblazers D. Seems like everything's falling for him. Not sure if he even knows how to miss. And battling nonstop, the Portland Trailblazers. It's been a hard-fought game, but they've risen to the challenge, really showing what they're made of. A great performance by Nicholas Batum. 
He's got nine points, and it's been a good overall defensive game for him. He's brought a nice intensity to the floor in this one. And that'll be all for this episode. It's in the books, and I'm all done reading. Thanks so much for watching, and enjoy the second half. Defense. It's the only thing Portland can't seem to figure out. Kevin Martin was lighting us up that entire first half, and there was nothing the Trailblazers seemingly could do to shut him down. And at this point, the team can't just match him shot for shot. We're going to need to force him out of the equation, or shut him down. But speaking of shut down, it's so nice to see Damian Lillard finally waking up. After a putrid first half that only saw him sink one bucket, he's now turned his entire game around and become a huge scoring threat. I can only hope this trend leads to the reward of a victory by the end of this game, but if defense can't improve, and quickly, then it'll all be for naught. But the team is going to need more than just Lillard's offensive output. We need scoring options open at multiple positions to keep the Rockets off guard on who to lock out. That means getting Aldridge, Matthews, or Batum in on the action as well. Donnie's doing a bang up job thus far in attacking the paint, but we're going to need some deep scoring threats. And last I checked, Donnie won't even chuck up a mid-ranger, let alone willingly hold the ball beyond the arc. Shit! A missed shot by Aldridge is leading to a fast break the other way that could get ugly. Good God! Did he... did that? Oh, that would be our luck. A perfect precision pass between Luke Babbitt's legs to feed Jawan Johnson for the finish and one. Forget it. This is an uphill battle that I don't think Portland can truly overcome. Not with plays like that being the running theme of the night. Portland's defense can best be described by holding up a slice of Swiss cheese. In a sauna. Not only is it filled with holes, but watch it melt before your very eyes. Kind of like Nolan Smith's offense right there. My man really just ran down towards the paint, got stuffed out, but decided to chuck up a shot anyway. Really? We're already down double digits and Smith is forcing up a shot as if there were a special bonus point modifier to achieve. We can still get back into this game if we play smart. But that's the key part of this all. We have to play smart! Oh god damn it all to... Ahem. As the Dream Kareem TV would say, Get your fuck ass styled on, fuck nigga. Unquote. <sighs> What can you even say about that? What? What could one possibly conjure up to adequately rebut such disgrace and unsportsmanlike conduct? Oh, so they want to get fancy on us? They feel comfortable enough to further shred our defense with three-point lives for dunks? Complaining about it won't take the play away. Defense just needs to step up and take the ball away from them. That's all. Coach needs to step up and get in some ears right now. Force guys to start thinking more on their feet. There's still time to play and turn our fortunes around, but it has to begin with smarter play. Thankfully, Donnie is starting to crash the board, sitting on four rebounds in the quarter. Had he gotten any in the first half, we could be looking at his second double-double. He missed out on that last time out by a single rebound and thus far, looks like he may fall short again, this time thanks to a dreadful first half. The only thing that's sterling about his game tonight is how automatic he is underneath the basket. He's lights out shooting 88% from the field from a range of 6 feet or less from the hoop. And what's more, his picks are really helping to create enough separation for Lillard to knock down more shots. 5 for 7 in the second half so far, and it's an encouraging enough sign to find some hope still for this game. I know, I'm being too optimistic for my own good, and it's an unusual suit for me to wear. But god damn it, I want to believe. Just call me Agent Mulder and move on, okay? I don't like writing this team off, not when Donnie is this bright and shiny beacon of hope, but they just keep drowning my aspirations to see this team do well like the newborn kitten it is! Damn it, Portland! Help me out here! Give me something to work with! Play down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. 84. Rockets lead by 16. 100. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. 2K Sports Magazine. The latest issue is now available. On the cover, it's Goose, emerging as a star talent in the NBA. And now our sideline reporter Doris Burke has a report on our Sprite uncontainable game. Hi, Doris. 
Hi guys, the uncontainable game today came from the Houston Rockets. They had a plan to get an edge in this one and they executed it perfectly. Hard to see them giving this one away in the final period. Oh, you lovely creature, you. Doris, you're right. It is indeed hard to see Houston giving this away. But what about Portland taking this? Get that weak shit out of there! Donnie with the monster stuff and now Portland's feeling froggy! Okay, okay, we can't style on him. We'll have to beat them with straight up fundamentals. Good thing we've got Mr. New Fundamentals willing to help out where he can. Come on, Donnie, help lift this team up to another victory! Fuck. Things still aren't breaking his way as he's continuing his struggles on the boards. Missing a defensive rebound leads to Houston getting a second chance bucket that only continues to place the pressure on the Blazers as the deficit remains steady. We're just a few good takeaways and defensive stops from climbing back into this game. If we can cut the margins down to under 12 points, then we should have a good chance of stealing this victory. We're only drilling by 18. We can overcome these numbers if we continue to chip away at it. Our offense is finally making every possession count as Damian Lillard cuts through the defense to find a lane to nail another teardrop floater. It's almost enough to bring a grown man to tears. It was so beautiful. Damien is now the point guard we deserve, not just the point guard we need. He's completely turned his entire game around in this second half, and the rest of the team seems to be feeding off of this excitement and energy of his. We're still scratching and clawing our way out of this hole. Thanks to shots like that, Wesley Matthews in the corner dropping bombs. No! They really air melt that pass to get the quick bucket in under five seconds? How did Chandler Persons even get that open? We need to stop these quick retaliations on their part. Come on, Portland. You can do better than this. The goal is 12 points to make this manageable. This isn't a difficult task to accomplish. You have the shooters, and they're all heating up or are already red hot. Just place some heavy defensive pressure, and we should be back in this game for a triumphant comeback. If you're not already hungry for this win, then get hungry. We need to start imposing our strength, size, and speed on this Houston team. Do you think you can intimidate them? You had better because we can! You're the team with much more going for it! Start imposing your will over them and keep this team from firing any more open shots! Put these clowns down, will ya? You're looking like you thought peace shooters would be sufficient enough ammunition for this game and it's starting to bug me that you guys aren't being more aggressive where it matters! Are you boys happy being losers? Do you enjoy being the laughing stock of the NBA? For fuck's sake, you're making the Bobcats look like a legitimate dynasty. You're a bunch of sad sacks just lazily drifting through the days, counting down the hours until you get, collect, and cash your paychecks. Wake up and take charge of this game, you limp-wristed punks! If Terry Stotts can't fire you motherfuckers up, then I sure as hell will by screaming aimlessly at my screen. I didn't get the season ticket pass to you guys to watch this horseshit all season long. Finish this mess, Donnie! A spit move? Donnie, since when have you thought you could pull off something more athletic than tying your shoes? Oh, okay, okay, we can still manage this. They haven't scored in a while. God damn it, ref! Okay, the NBA is officially on the take. There's no way in hell that was an actual foul. Feeds to Aldridge and stolen no. by Anderson. No, 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 no! A finish. Great finish there, Kevin. Took it strong to the cup. Yeah, aggressive two-hand <laughs> jam. And that's the kind you like, especially in traffic. You got to make sure. The Spike Report. surprised the team didn't ride you a little bit more in the second half. Any idea why that didn't happen? It's not the way coach wanted to execute the offense, so that's really a question for him. I'm not the one calling the shots out there. I knocked him down when I was given a chance, and 
That's what I'll continue to do night in and night out. But as far as how often my number's gonna get called, that's not on me to figure out, man. Thank <laughs> you.